So the guidelines for water storage are one gallon per person per day. Now, does this mean that we expect every person to <laughs> guzzle one gallon of water per day? No. The guidelines state that half of it, which would be eight cups, is actually for drinking. The other half is for food preparation and for hygiene needs. And I think of this because I've been seeing a lot on YouTube and the media this challenge, which is to drink one gallon of water per day for 30 days. And supposedly there's all these health benefits, such as beautiful skin, a boosted metabolism, less overeating, um, and decreased headaches, la da la da la da. So a lot of people are trying it. But I'm going to tell you that unless you are into a uh, job that causes a high level exertion in a very warm client, you don't need to drink one gallon of water a day. And in fact, the studies have not shown any of these benefits. If you want good skin, hope that your mother and grandmother had good skin because skin basically is genetics. Sure, if you are dehydrated, you will see results in your face, you know, maybe dark circles, wrinkling of skin, that type of thing. But most Americans are hydrated, no matter what the media wants to tell us. Let me give you a little more information here. So, if our guidelines is we have eight glasses left out of half of these, then we're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day, right? I mean, we've all heard it, we've been told it. I often was very skeptical because I thought, hmm, so that 100 pound woman over there and that 300 pound man over there, they're both supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day never quite made sense to me. Well, there has been numerous studies that show that is not true. What happened was, and let me read this to you, in 1945, the U.S. Food Nutrition Board recommended that people drink two and a half liters, which is 84.5 ounces a day. Evidently, most who read this then ignored this following sentence, quote, most of this quantity is contained in prepared foods. And whatever prepared means in 1945, I'm not sure, but all food contains water, especially vegetables and fruit. So, if we want to remain healthy, we have to put back into our body the water that comes out through perspiration and through urination. But our body doesn't say, oh, that is 100% pure water. Yes, that's what I need, eight glasses of a day. It just takes care of fluid intake. So you could have water, like this that everybody seems to be drinking, their bottled water, or you could have tea, coffee, juice, even diet soda or soda. Your body doesn't equate fluids with how healthy they are. And please remember, new studies have shown that Neither coffee or tea is a diuretic. So, all of these count towards your fluid intake. The one fluid that doesn't count really is alcohol because alcohol does dehydrate you. So, but the rest do. But there's more than that. You get a lot of fluid from the food you eat all day long. Now, I don't know about you, but I really enjoy eating homemade soups and stews. Well, believe me, there's a lot of water content to that. And love having some melon, especially watermelon or fresh peach. Again, there is fluid content. And the same for a lot of the veggies that we eat. So our body only looks at total fluid. And it can come from water. It can come from pop, even though I wish it shouldn't. shouldn't. Um, it can come from the food you're eating the total amount for the day. So you do not have to drink eight glasses of water a day. In fact, your body will tell you when to drink. It's called, hmm, I'm thirsty, right? Some people will say, well, by the time you know you're thirsty, it's too late. 
Uh, no. <laughs> That's our gauge in our body. We start to be thirsty, we put water or other fluids in, and we are no longer thirsty. That's really how it works. So why do we see all this about how we have to have at least eight glasses of water a day or maybe even a gallon? Where's this coming from? Well, part of it is that myth that we just debunked um, and people will say something again and again without checking resources and seeing if it is factual. But also the companies that want to sell us their bottled water put on a lot of uh, media to encourage us to use it. In fact, they even do studies that kind of are false. Let me give you an example. So here, according to this article um, by University of Michigan, why do I keep hearing that I need to drink more to stay healthy? Companies that make products such as bottled water sponsor and promote research that can be misleading. For example, a study that concluded that about two thirds of children in Los Angeles and New York City weren't getting enough water was funded by Nestex. Now Nestex is a subsidiary of Nestle Water. But the definition of dehydration they use is a value that has been found to be normal in healthy children for many years all over the world. Hmm. So what's the bottom line? Listen to your body. Drink when you're thirsty. And I would recommend not drinking pop but that's up to you. And the amount of water you need depends on many factors. It can be your medical condition, your exertion level, the climate you live in, and other factors. So just eight glasses of water a day might be right for you, might not be right for me. So always when you hear these type of things, do a little research and see if they're really based on fact. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and as always, thank you so much for watching.